Hey everyone, welcome back to Kenshi. We are playing as Tank Face again today. The last episode we said goodbye to Tank Face's limbs and we fitted him with some pretty advanced uh, new ones. So we'll be testing those out today. We're also going to try and increase Tank Face's crossbow skill with this toothpick only because it's going to allow us to train for longer periods of time because of its lower damage. And we're also going to train Tank Face's melee combat since he's still not quite good enough to uh, take on the Southern Hive just yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and start training. We'll go ahead and equip Tank Face with his training bow here. And we'll head out and find a, a suitable target, hopefully a Leviathan, so we can just keep shooting and shooting and shooting until Tank Face uh, levels up his bow skill. Wow. Haven't really tested out Tank Face's speed yet, but man, just, this is all single speed by the way, and he is just, with one scout leg, he is screaming across the screen here, compared to his normal speed. What is his speed right now? 33 miles per hour. Okay. I am curious to see what his sneak speed is, so let's go ahead and equip his sneak clothing. And we will... Uh, kind of swap some stuff around here. I mean, yes, he could be faster, but it is quite a difference from what he was before. So let's see what his sneak speed is. Uh, it looks like his armor and equipment is still limiting him. It might be his robotics as well. Uh, he's around... 19 miles per hour sneak, which is a little slower than what he was. Uh, so I think his robotics are limiting his sneak ability. Let's see what they are doing. Yeah, his stealth is uh, a bit compromised from his robotics. Uh, also, his chest piece. I forgot to take that off. Let's see what happens when we take that chest piece off. Okay, we're back to normal sneak. And he is running probably faster than he would without sneaking. Let's see what his run speed is. 39 miles per hour. So when Tank Face is sneaking, he's running faster than if he was not sneaking. So yes, we are at 39 miles per hour. If we take sneak off, you can still see he's quite fast. However, He's running at 35, so we're losing 4 miles per hour if we're not sneaking across the, uh, the map here. So we're going to go ahead and sneak on and find a suitable target, and we'll start training up his crossbow skill. We do need to get a bit of uh, ammunition or uh, bolts before we leave, so uh, it looks like we do have quite a few here. Let's put away our long bolts. We're not going to need those for now. We're also not going to need the uh, eagle's cross for now. So let's just put all that stuff away. We are going to need a ton of these uh, toothpick bolts. Oops. So I'll grab a bunch of those. Some of these. We'll just keep a couple of these just in case in an emergency. We need to use our old world bow. And this looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and head out. And I've seen Leviathans kind of roaming around Flats Lagoon to the east, maybe even in this area east here, near the Crumbling Labs. So let's see what we find out here. Yeah, Tank Face's uh, robotics already paying off here with his extreme speed. We're pretty much able to outrun uh, beak things, which are the big giraffe-looking monsters. Um, I think they run around 35 miles per hour, and he's running at 39. So we we just about can outrun most things in the game, I believe, uh, which is great. So we're going to search for Leviathans only because they are slow, and they are very, very tanky. They have thousands and thousands of hit points, so we can pretty much grind Tank Face's ranged abilities all day on Leviathans. And if we can't find a Leviathan, we might just try um, the Crumbling Labs over here with a big gorilla. 
Let's see if we can uh, train against him. Incredible speed. Nearly 40 miles per hour. I don't think the range is very good on this. Um, what is it called? Toothpick? Yeah. It's not, not great range, so we have to be a little careful. I don't think he can get out of the uh, enclosure he's in, so let's see if we can just attack him from the perimeter. And if he can get out of the enclosure, we, we might be a little bit of trouble here. Let's see what his stats are. Yeah, he's about a thousand uh, health points per body part, so he's pretty tough. He's the keen gorilla. Should be a really good target for Tank Face. Alright, let's see if we can hit him from here. Okay, it looks like he might be able to... Yeah, he can He can reach Tank Face. Okay, come on Tank Face. I don't know if he can tell if Tank Face comes back. Yes, he can. Okay. Can he strike while... Yeah, he can strike while we're in the water, so... We're gonna need to run away here if we can. Yeah, he's definitely able to hit Tank Face. Let's switch to Tank Face's heavier armor just real quick here. So it was a mistake to think that the gorilla couldn't attack us in the water. Hopefully we'll get knocked out and be able to uh, wake back up here. Okay, so we got knocked out. He's going to leave us alone. Thank goodness that we have very high toughness. And yeah, we can kind of fake our, our death here. So we'll let Tank Face play dead for a minute. Let the gorilla go back to his uh, his dwelling here. I wonder if we can kite him out the other side once we heal Tank Face. Okay, come on, Tank Face, get out of there, buddy. I wouldn't provoke him, Tank Face. At least not right now. Can we hit him from here? Oh yeah, we can provoke him, that's for sure. Uh, so he can detect us targeting him, but uh, we're not currently shooting at him, so that's interesting. So he's going to come over, and Tank Face is going to start shooting him, which is fine. I think um, we can probably get some experience out of this. Okay, so his crossbow skill is 38, but he's got a deficit either because of injury or because of uh, he's got an issue with his equipment or his limbs. Let me see. Doesn't appear to have an issue there. So I don't see an issue with those. It must be his uh, armor. His yeah, his armor is adding a debuff to his crossbow skill which is fine. We're just training it up anyway. Okay, run tank face. The good news is that he's not very fast, so he does have a bit of reach on him. Oop. Probably not the most efficient way to train up tank faces um, crossbow skill. Just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and let him go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't think he's going to be able to defend against him. The uh, gorilla's attacks are pretty strong, so let's see what happens. Yeah, let's actually... Don't know if we can drop Tank Face's backpack or not. It doesn't look like it. Let's switch this over. Give Tank Face all the uh, stats he can get for this fight. Ooh. 
Okay, so he was not able to defend any of that. Okay, let's switch back over to melee. If he was a little bit slower, we could probably use him as a uh, training buddy for the crossbow skill. But um, he's he's got that kind of gallop that he does with his legs that makes him pretty fast because of his size. So it's not really fun times to uh, train with him, unfortunately. Just missed Tank Face. Tank Face almost got swatted there. All right, so I think we're gonna leave this poor uh, gorilla alone. He's he's gonna be a little bit too much of a hassle to train with. I think I have the perfect target for Tank Face in mind up here on Crab Island. Actually, we might be able to practice on this elder crab. He's pretty tanky, and he's not very fast. So let's give it a shot. His hard shell also will protect him from the uh, toothpick uh, bolts. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue for him. I mean, he's fairly fast, actually. I think these bolts are just bouncing off of them. Oh, maybe not. That's a big crab. Now we're making a bit of a dent in his shell, so we don't want to hurt him too much. We kind of like crabs in this game, so... And we've gained three levels of uh, crossbow skill since we've started this endeavor. So that's not too bad. Okay, let's see who this is. Ah, huh, scavengers. Don't know how well they're going to do against these crabs. Let's see, they have an adult. And a few teen crabs. Oh, there's an adult here as well. Huh, quite a few adults. This one's quite a bit bigger. 179 points, yeah. Yeah, I think all these guys are going to go down. We'll see what happens. Yeah, all those guys are down. Okay, let's first aid the crab and get out of here. Okay. Let's grab us all healed up. Let's head north. And uh, just for the sake of speed, let's go ahead and swap out our gear. Alright, so tank face is at crossbows level 42. That's not bad. I don't think I've ever actually seen stoves. So I'm kind of just taking a peek. Just for the sake of uh, seeing this landmark. I think I see stove. So about two thousand dollars in the game and I've never really explored this area. <laughs> yeah, I think I did find stove. Super massive robot. That is really cool looking. So there's no indication what it is. It is just a ruin, but I believe this is supposed to be stove. Very nice set piece. We'll be training with this mega crab for, for quite some time here thousand points of uh, health, so we're going to provide plenty of time for Tank Face to level up here with his crossbow. And sorry to do this, but we do need some food, so we might as well grab some of the crab meat here. Uh, Tank Face can eat raw meat, so we don't need to bother cooking it. You can also eat rotten meat, or the foul meat. Alright, let's take a look at Tank Face's crossbow skill. You can see it's leveling up pretty quickly fighting this big enemy, and the nice thing is uh, 
we can stand on this platform and just kind of train uh, without fear of being hit by this large crab. Um, oh, he's out of bolts. Okay, let's switch over to our old world bow. We'll finish up our training for today. You can see the crab is just going to be uh, slightly injured here. But he'll be fine. You can see the old world bow uh, Mark II is doing quite a lot more damage. So we might have to patch up this uh, mega crab after we train. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to patch the crab up. Didn't quite make it to level 50. Uh, crossbow, that's okay. Let's go ahead and patch up the crab. Uh, looks like we got caught, but I think we've patched the crab up enough to not worry about it, so we're gonna get Tank Face out of here. And this crab is gonna be just fine. The rest of her limbs will heal on their own. Alright, so we are now in Black Scratch. We're gonna try and get some more ammo, go back out and train some more. Alright, excellent. Let's sell off this meat. It is a bit heavy for what it offers. And we'll get some high nutritious, highly nutritious uh, food items here. Alright, we did find some decent armor that's uh, similar to the um, ninja rags, but uh, it offers uh, burning uh, protection, so we're going to pick that up and sell off our lowly ninja rags. And now we have excellent protection against uh, the lasers and venge. And we also have our stealth bonus as well. Uh, not as much as our old stealth uh, ninja rags, but this is still pretty good. Alright, we made it back to our little house. We are going to switch out some of our gear only because we really don't need all the stuff we took with us. Uh, since we're specifically training for crossbows, so we're going to go ahead and lighten our load a bit. Store a little bit of our food. I don't think we needed to take this much. Alright, that looks a little better. Tank face is no longer encumbered, which is nice. And we have plenty of ammunition here. Let's go ahead and drop off a bit more of our crossbow bolts. We don't need that many. And we mostly have toothpicks, which is what we need, so that's perfect. So let's go see if we can find a leviathan over here in the bone fields. And with our dust coat, we still have 100 points in our sneak, so that's perfect. Don't see any leviathans anywhere. Oh, there's one. These things are generally not a problem, but, um, you know, they will be hostile if you attack them. They will definitely try to attack you. They're so slow that, uh, they don't really pose much of a threat unless you just stand underneath them. Okay, Tank Face, let's train up your crossbow skills. As you can tell, much, much slower moving than uh, 
typical enemies. So Tankface has plenty of opportunity here to train up his crossbow. Let's see how the Leviathan's doing. You can see he has well, his stomach is almost 7,500 points of uh, health there, so he's going to be just fine after we're done training. I'm just kind of an annoying little fly to him right now. Oh, tank face reached level 50 crossbow. Fantastic. And we're just going to kite this poor guy around and shoot his uh, ankles with these little toothpicks. And this is just a super fast way to train up crossbow. Triple speed. Uh, we're just going to leave a double speed just in case uh, get attacked by different creatures. So we're just going to kite him over here and try and get a few more points of uh, experience out of him. And we'll jump up here on the platform and we'll be safe, I think. Almost got hit there. He's gonna come right up to the gate. Oh, can he come inside? Oh yeah, he's bugged out. Well guys, we've technically trapped a Leviathan here for target practice. Uh, it looks like we're getting some help from the townspeople. Oh, don't do that. Uh, all these guys are gonna be knocked out, so we'll have to revive them. Alright, I think that's enough training for today. Let's head back to base. I'll wrap it up. Alright, so the next uh, training is going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat once again. I believe the best place for Tank Face to go is going to be Ashlands, so that's our plan for the next episode. That looks pretty good. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we will need to take some building materials down so we can build a, a small sanctuary in the Ashlands, but that's going to be for the next episode. We will be fighting in this area down here, which should give Tankface uh, what he needs uh, as far as hand-to-hand -hand combat training to take on the Southern Hive and Grey Shelf. Well, that will save for the next episode. Thanks again for joining me, and thanks again for taking an interest in the channel. I'm hoping to build this into a small community of Kenshi lovers and RPG lovers, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.